So in the last video, we was having a bit of bad time of it, trying to get this chassis leg straight. If you remember, it was um, about 35 mil lower on the passenger side than it is on the driver's side. And no matter how much I heated it up, I had it glam red, um, couldn't get it sorted. So I needed some help. So I've got some outside help. Um, I've got someone to come to the garage here and um, we had it glowing, we had two blow torches on it and we had it glowing and we couldn't get it moved either and he was uh, he was very surprised that we couldn't move it so I had to take it to their shop. Um, Howard Brothers in Leighton Buzzard, thank you very much for sorting me out. Luke and Ross, um, they've been brilliant and they sorted out my inner front wing as well. So. Let's have a little look at it now. It's nice and straight, and we can start putting things back together. We can start doing all the uh, exciting stuff like um, getting those connectors sorted. So, yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Right, let's have a little look. Da -da. Looking a bit different from when it went. So, we've got the bonnet on now for the. Let's get that up. Get a bit of wood in there. Hang on. So. You can see in the back there, there's that plate welded to chassis leg for a bit of extra, extra strength. And they got another one welded on this side there. So now that's nice and straight. We've got the inner front wing that's welded on nice and square. And they put the crash bar on and the cowl in obviously to make sure that everything lines up and then round here if you remember that was where the front wing had to meet uh the inner wing had to meet the uh the existing one i had to cut that because that came from the that came from the uh salvage yards just like that so i cut that apparently um it was a really nice cut and it went together straight away so that's good so things looking a little bit different now they put the crash bar on and the cowling just to make sure everything lines up but I'm gonna get that take I'm gonna take that off now so I can get in because my job today is to get this fuse box in and get all these cables all the uh, exposed cables that are damaged get those rejointed and get all these connectors done it's all the sexy stuff so that's my job for today let's get at it so my kit my kit for the day is basically some cable strippers, cable snips, heat gun, need a heat gun. I put a, um, an end on that so it concentrates the heat so it's not spread all over, it doesn't damage other cables. And then a load of, uh, a load of wire connectors. In fact, that hand we've got 120. We've got a bucket of connectors, all sorts in there. Oh, and the other ingredient we need, step, so I can sit on it. Let's get on with it. These cable connectors are really easy to use. You've effectively got a tube of plastic and you feed the cables in from either end and where they meet in the middle, there's a solder part that you heat to a certain temperature and then it melts and it effectively solders the two separate cables together there's also uh, a plastic a plastic part on either end and once that's heat when that's heated that melts around the insulation on the wire so you can't pull it apart so it's really simple and that's why all you need is some cable strippers, some snips to break the wires where the damage is 
and then a heat gun and then it all just shrink wraps you leave it about 10 seconds Bob's your uncle Fanny's your aunt so now we've done now we've done most of this repaired most of this uh, wiring in the fuse box we're moving left across the engine bay so next thing we need to sort out is this plug connector that goes to the radiator and then there's an earth down there. there's an earth that connects to the chassis leg uh, there there so that's obviously knackered the the connectors knackered and just like blue Peter I have one here but I haven't connected it earlier I've got to connect it now so I'm just having a look you've got um, a pump water pump here and that connector that connector there goes into that water pump there and looking at that and looking at this one which I've got they look the same so there's no damage on the one that we're going to connect so I'm just going to put that straight in so that push that in there put the retaining clip in right that's locked in that's locked in so we're we're getting going um, now I've got to do I've got to do a load more joining so I need to cut that cut that right cable right there well cut those multi cables right there let's get for them now this is live right there you go five small ones and one big one basically what I've got to do is strip that strip that Zzz. And then that earth will just go there on a the chassis leg. All right. Most people, this engine bay probably looks a right state, but to us, it's looking good. It's coming on this inner front wing. Look at it, perfectly welded, perfectly square. To allow this fuse box to just sit in there very nicely and hide all of that spaghetti junction. Starting to take shape now. Let's push towards getting this started. All those connectors. All those connectors finally done. Tedious work, but essential. Now, we need to change this power steering hose because it is broken. 
I'm split. I'm splitting. Oh, God, I spend too much time on my own. Spend too much time on my own out here. So now we've got all the cables repaired, all the connectors repaired. We've changed the power steering hose. Um, it's, time, it's time now to get the rad pack on and get the coolant in the system, run it up to temperature. I'm getting excited now a little bit. We'll get it on, it's time to get that rad pack on. Let's get it run up to temperature. That's the aim today. Get it running, run it up to temp, and hopefully we can get all the panels on as well. I haven't got the bumper, the bumper's in thousand pieces. So I need to get a new bumper, I need to get a new grill. But I've got those on order. Um, so we just, the, the aim is to get all the panels on, apart from those, try and get things lined up and get it running. So, let's get going. Still got to go around, got to line everything up, panel wise, but this is on. And that is the most important thing for me, I hope it's the most important thing for you. We get some coolant in it now, try and get it started. If I can get it started in here, without having to jump it off of another car, I've got a battery pack, but I don't know if there's enough power in it, but if, if I can get it started and reverse it out of this garage, We've got some champagne around here on one of these shelves and we just, because it's been a long road, all right? It's a long way to go, but to this point, if I can reverse it out of this little garage, I'll be well happy. So, let's give it a go. Let's get some coolant in it, see if it goes, see if it runs. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> Half expecting it to all just come straight out of the bottom. <laughs> Hopefully not. It's bone dry in there, so we just put it all in. I'll have a pink floor by the end of this. No. Be positive. Be positive. Does that even touch the sides? It's not even touched the sides. I've got another one here. Ooh. Okay. Right, that was a bit annoying that we didn't have enough power in the battery to start the engine. Um, and I don't think the power pack is, I don't think it's got enough guts in it, but I don't think it's fully charged either. So that's a no go. So I've got to jump it off another car, which means taking out of here, which means, you guessed it, me pushing it. Um, we've got a slight incline on the drive as well, which makes it even more difficult. But I'm gonna give it a go. You have a laugh, right? Are you comfortable? That's good, that's the main thing. Okay, right. 
We're bobsledding this. We're off. Let's go. Ah! Easy. Right, we're all connected up now. We're outside. We've got the car running. We've got British summertime in full flow. Let's see if it starts. Listen to her, listen to her purr. Come and have a closer look. Yeah, that fan, yeah, that fan's very loud, but we are running. I don't want to hear, I think there's a real bad knocking. I think that, let me bring you over here. I can't talk. Hang on, let me bring you here. That fan sounds like a wind turbine. And there's a proper knocking on the gearbox. You can feel when you put your hand on it, you can feel it like all the cogs just spinning around. So we need to investigate that. I haven't tried to put it in gear yet. Let's see if it moves. We're in the van. First time ever. We're inside. And it's running. It's running very poorly. So I'm going to turn the engine off now because I don't want to do any damage. I wonder whether it'll start on its own now. It's been running for about 10 minutes. I wonder if there's enough in the factory. Let's turn it off. That aircraft is coming down now that is loud ting that is loud let's see if it starts if it's only cord right let's go listen to her purr listen to her purr Okay, objective one complete, we've got a running van, finally. There's a lot of snags, there's a lot of things we need to sort out. Well not we, me really, but a lot to involve you lot in it. Um, again, if you can see something that I'm doing that you can help me out with, do let me know because I do need that help. There's a huge rattle. Uh, tapping on the gearbox on the casing you can feel it with your hand so I need to get that sorted out I need to figure out all the fan and everything like that why that's just constantly on and why it sounds like a turbine but it's running and that's the main thing it starts on its own I don't know if it'll start tomorrow on its own but it's starting now on its own we're inside together it's the first time we're making new ground Please, I'm pleased. Brakes work, goes into gear, goes forward, goes backwards. I think that's pretty good. So I think we should end that video here. This is the end of part four. Tune in next week, part five. I'll give you a little update on a few things that I've fixed, hopefully. And in the next episode, a little teaser, we're going to be working inside and sorting some stuff out in here. So, see you next week. Tune in.
See you later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell.